I started at Movement in 2012, went into an interview, Toby interviewed me, it's when Toby was interviewing everybody and hiring everybody still. Um, and he, hired, he actually hired me on the spot after I told him a little bit of my story. What was the story you told him? Growing up was a struggle. Um, there was abuse in my life. Um, I saw some addiction. There was just moments in my life where I didn't care. I would steal and lie and cheat. And from me being wild and, and doing things that I shouldn't do, I, I ended up spending 90 days out of my senior year in, of high school in, in jail. Whatever might have happened in her childhood or whatever, we all have a past. She came in, she applied for a job. You have to see that when you're interviewing people. Um, when we were growing movement, um, I personally hired hundreds of people there. And it, it is amazing when you sit and you chat with a person and you let them show you who they really are. My relationship with Brandy is she is an amazing, strong, independent woman who just shows a lot of love and support to other um, movement employees in the Virginia Beach office. There we go. The biggest thing I love about Mike <laughs> is the way he brought God into our, my life, our lives. It was always there for him, but it wasn't for me. And he kind of just shined that light right down on me. I was at work and I got a text message. It, the way it came across is he was gonna kill himself. He was didn't kill himself, but he was in the bedroom. Um, and he just told me everything. He got to a point where he knew um, that things were getting bad. So um, he, he just opened up to me. It was devastating. I knew from my past, um, I knew a little bit about, about addiction, right? Not a lot, but a little. I didn't know how to handle it. I, what do I do for him? Um, how do I help him? I just had to understand the disease um, and let the professionals help him. The most stressful part was not knowing how I was gonna survive. That was the most stressful part, was not knowing how I was gonna make it through while he was gone. I applied again and um, although super emotional <laughs> throughout the process, that's when God put Christy in my life. This poor girl, she's by herself. She's in Virginia Beach. Her husband was seeking some drug addiction issues and counseling down in Florida. Um, she doesn't have a lot of resources to support her and she's gonna be alone anywhere from 60 to 90 days. She's by herself. How would I feel if I were in that situation? I'd feel alone and scared. And my gut instinct was, we have to help her out. I don't want the financial stress of her being by herself um, causing any more hardship to her personal being. LoveWorks is important because it is who movement is. It's the essence of everything that we do here. We're family. We take care of each other. We provide that love and that encouragement that our employees really need. When uh, my husband, Mike, got back from rehab, before he got back, 
Um, and I had prayed and asked God to keep my eyes open to his addiction. Um, and he did. And um, the first time that I experienced it or encountered it was I was actually in the shower. And God had told me to, like, I didn't even turn the shower off. I just got out um, and told me to go into the kitchen. And that was the first time that I caught him relapsing. So relapse is part of recovery. It's a battle that you're going to continue when living with addiction. It's a battle that you're going to continue to fight together. They have a beautiful family. They have a great relationship. They have purchased a small farm uh, away from the city. They grow tomatoes and fresh basil and um, enjoy spending time together. They're very involved in their church. They have started to give back to the community. They are volunteering their time with a girls softball team. We're blessed, you know. Even though, again, life is hard um, and there's still struggles because um, there's always going to be, but we're blessed. That's the best word I can use for it. If I was never able to get Love Works, I wouldn't have this home. I probably wouldn't even be in this state. <laughs> I would have probably moved away. They are the poster child of a story that came from um, something negative, turning it into a positive. They've come full circle, they're investing back into their community, and none of that would have happened if it wouldn't have been for Love Works. When, when something like that happens to you, it not only does it make you realize that you're working for a company that loves you, people that loves you, the surroundings, but it also makes you realize that um, you can help somebody else too. This program would be totally impossible without our employees who so faithfully donate each and every month to this program. This program is an integral part of who we are. And it, it's about helping the guy sitting next to you or the, the, the lady sitting over there. It's, it's about them knowing there's somebody here for me in a dark hour. I felt like I didn't have anything else in the world that I have a company where I'm surrounded by people who love me.